I'm Chuck, this is What is the Wheel, and today I'm going to try and fix my fuel pressure and fuel leak problems. So the first startup showed that I had way too much fuel pressure. I was getting a lot of fuel leaking out of the fuel bowl overflow, and I needed to fix that. So I got a pressure regulator, which I made mounts for, and used uh, sealant, this stuff right here, to seal it. Turns out this stuff, somebody informed me, is not good with gasoline, which I found out when it started leaking everywhere. So I've taken this off, I'm gonna hang on to it. I may try and reseal it another way and maybe use it for something else. But in the meantime, I bought this. This is a lower pressure fuel regulator because also uh, Build Break Fix uh, sent me a message and he let me know that the little carburetor, which is right here, uh, is not really meant to take a whole lot of pressure. I figured, based on the carburetors that I typically worked on on motorcycles and bigger carburetors on cars, that probably inlet pressure could be around 3 PSI with no problem. Turns out that's not true. This little carburetor needs one PSI or less. It's really only meant to handle a gravity feed with like a tank above it. And since my tank is mounted below it, it's not gonna get any fuel at all without a fuel pump in there. So I'm gonna give this a try. This is a much bigger pump. This is uh, input and it has outputs on both sides. Uh, obviously I don't need those because I'm not running two four barrels on this thing. So I also bought a fuel pressure gauge, which will let me see exactly what pressure I'm running on that. And uh, when I get this and this all together, it's gonna look something like this. That's not the result that I was hoping for. Uh, unfortunately, even with that pressure regulator turned down to effectively zero, there is still too much pressure going to the carburetor. The carburetor, I double checked, the float is set correctly. So the only thing to do, I think, is I'm just gonna have to like T in, put a return line to the tank, which will effectively create like a no a nearly no pressure situation. So the, the fuel is just filling up the line above the carburetor so it's basically being gravity fed and all the extra fuel is just returning under no load back to the fuel tank and then if I have to I can uh, drill out and make a small restrictor to create a little bit of restriction in there if it turns out that that's an issue and I would work on it today except uh, a couple days ago I found this uh, underneath my Toyota 4Runner and so currently I am tearing the front end of it down because it has a fuel pump leak, not a fuel pump, it's got a fuel pump on the brain. It has a water pump leak, which the water pump on that truck is buried. So that has been a long ongoing project to take care of that. But hopefully next week I'll have a solution for this thing and we'll be that much closer to actually putting it in the grass and racing it around the yard. Uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment please, ring the bell, all that good stuff. And as always, everybody have a great day.